Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Agar Prajapati and in this video, I will be talking about one of the most important SQL questions which were asked recently in one of the interview. So before going to the video, I would like to suggest you, if you haven't watched this playlist, you can go and watch at least 10 to 15 questions and then you can skip to this video. So let me go back to my visual story and I will tell you what question, which question I'm going to solve today. So you can see here, we have one table, table A, and the second table is table B. Each table has one column, that is ID1, and in table B, we have ID2. Then you can see here, we have this 1, 2, 3, null, null, and in ID in table 2, we have 1, 2, and null. Now what we need to do is, we need to do our inner join in between these two tables. Okay, so let me open one note here, and you can see, you can see we have in id1 we have 1 2 3 null and null okay and in other table the column is id underscore 2 we have 1 2 null single null right okay single null we have now we want to do now we want to do inner join right so you might be thinking it is it is very easy question what we can do we can simple we can simple right here select star from table uh, let's say a then inner join table underscore b give some alias here b and here give some alias like a then do on and a dot id underscore one is equal to b dot id underscore two okay you might be thinking this is the solution so if you do this then we will get output is one two one and two this will be the output this will be the output okay now you 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 are thinking why this null did not come okay because null has null doesn't have any value null means nothing okay it is neither be a string integer float it, it doesn't have anything okay so but our output should be we have to consider null also our out, output should be like we have to print null so how do we do that so let me open us with studio and first i will show you the first result so if i write here if i write here it's not so let me do let me cancel it and let me write it now now so if i do select star from table underscore a a alias in a join table underscore b b alias on a dot id underscore one is equal to b dot id underscore two and let me run it then you can see we have the output one one Two, two, which I shown you before this but we need to include this null also so what we can do what we can do we can write here or okay then what we can do we can do a dot id underscore one is null okay and b dot id underscore b dot id underscore one sorry 2 is null so what is happening what is happening whenever you know it it uh, map with this numbers then it will see 1 is 1 okay 2 is 2 okay but 3 is not present in table 2 then it will reject now we have this null so if null come so it will go and check okay a dot id 1 is null okay it is true right it returns true is null and then it will check 
in id uh, i mean in table uh, table underscore two do we have null yes we have null so it returns two right so we will have we will get the output so let me run this and let me show you see now we have this uh, now we have this output so this is the way this is the way how can we join nulls also sometimes interviewer ask you to do do a join but they did not ask you to uh, you know they did not ask you to to remove the to remove the nulls so that's why we need to we need to ask them whether do we need do do we need a null in the result or not if they are saying okay i do not want null just you know just do a simple inner join then you can say okay select so start from table a inner join table b and on the basis of columns you can do so you have to make sure whether while well you are writing your code you should ask your interviewer that which type of output you want it okay so i hope you have understood this logic and uh, if you are lacking my content you can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited and yeah thank you